A key skill when looking at organic reactions is to identify the nucleophile and the electrophile. Which one will be the Lewis base? Which one will be the Lewis acid? Which one is going to have the negative charge that will attack um, a positive charge, partial or, or real positive charge? The most relevant nucleophilic atoms in organic chemistry are oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur. When you're looking at nucleophilic functional groups, so or, uh, functional groups that have that potential to act as nucleophiles, as, as Lewis bases, we are thinking of uh, water, for example, the molecule of water with the non-bonding electronic pairs, an alcohol, a hydroxyl group, a phenol, which is a hydroxyl group in a, in a benzene ring, uh, amines, for example, thiols, which are, uh, instead of uh, hydroxyl groups, you have a, um, a thiol group. Sometimes carboxylates, if you have that structure, the carboxylate structure, that can also act as a nucleophile. An electrophilic atom is, is, the, is the atom that is attached to an electronegative atom. Typically, when we think about electrophilic atoms in, um, in um, organic chemistry, we think about electrophilic carbons. So an electrophilic carbon is a carbon with a partial positive charge. It's a carbon that is attached to an electronegative atom that pulls from the electrons from the bond and creates a partial negative charge on top of the heteroatom and therefore a partial positive charge in the atom, in the carbon itself. And that is a carbon attached to a more electronegative atom, uh, an oxygen atom, a nitrogen atom, sulfur or a halogen, typically chlorine uh, or bromine or iodine, in some cases fluorine too. So uh, nucleophilic atoms are oxygens, nitrogens and sulfurs. Nucleophilic functional groups are functional groups that contain those atoms and acting through those particular atoms. Electrophilic atoms are the carbons attached to those uh, nucleophilic atoms. So I'm going to ask you to stop the slides right now and have a look at these three examples of uh, compounds or ions and tell me whether they will be a nucleophile or an electrophile and why. Stop the video now, please. I hope you stopped the video and had a go at, at uh, this little exercise. The first step, the first uh, uh, ion, bromide and ion. Well, the bromine has a negative charge, so it's clearly electron rich. Uh, so it's going to be able to donate that uh, electronic charge. So it will, be high, it will behave as a nucleophile. This is the ammonium ion. And uh, in the ammonium ion, you have the nitrogen surrounded by four hydrogens. So the typical electrons that are uh, sitting, non-bonding electrons that are sitting in, in, the, in the nitrogen in the molecule of ammonia are now committed to a, an extra bonded hydrogen. It's a compound that has a, it's an ion that has a positive charge. It's clearly lacking um, electrons. So it's going to behave as an electrophile. It will be looking for electrons to compensate that positive charge. And finally, you have the molecule of water. And in the molecule of water, you have two possible uh, sides of ways of, of reacting. On one hand, you have the a partial negative charge on the oxygen and the electrons, non-bonding electrons that are uh, sitting on the oxygen. And you have a partial positive charge in the hydrogens because oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen and will pull from the electrons from the bond. So typical molecule of water will react as a nucleophile. It has electrons, it has partial negative charge, it has electrons that can be donated, 
but it can potentially, in some cases, with the appropriate uh, reagent, behave as an electrophile because it has the hydrogens with a partial positive charge. So it would be able to behave as an electrophile through those hydrogens. So it would be mostly a nucleophile, and the typical way of behaving is, is as a nucleophile. It has non-bonding electrons in the oxygen, and it has a negative, partial negative charge around the oxygen atom and it potentially with the right uh, reagent behave as an electrophile through the hydrogen atoms.